I have a few glorious hours to the garden to myself while Daddy is homeschooling, so I thought I might do um, a little walk around my repurposed garden. I'm a huge fan of reusing things that people are chucking out, and this is my first garden, so I'm completely in love with it. Um, and I thought I might take you for a little walk about. Um, so over in this corner, I have um, just some old mirrors that people were chucking out that I've spray painted and varnished up the back so they don't rot. So that's my little mirror wall. Um, this is an old bin with an old um, broken lamp base that I've shoved in there, put some pea netting up and I'm growing sweet peas up there and I think I've got a cup and saucer vine coming back from last year which would be really nice um, in that one. And then um, um, this is an old pot that um, just rusted out at the bottom um, but I still quite like it so I've just chucked some rocks at the bottom and some um, old compost bags and um, these are old concrete rods that I've stuck in there with some netting and I'm growing a different type of sweet pea up that one. Um, this is one of my favourite things in the garden. Um, I got these leafy doors at the car boot for like three pounds and just painted them up. But the first year I had loads of smaller pots like this hanging off all of them and I did annuals in there um, but it was just massively high maintenance to keep washing off for five minutes um, and then we went on holiday and that all died so I didn't do that again. Last year I tried putting some guttering along them and growing strawberries but it was too shallow for the roots and so that didn't really work. But this year I have got some deeper buckets and I'm going to grow some Lobelia Cascade in those so hopefully that will all drape down there. And in the grey ones I've taken out the slats and netted them up so on this end one I'm going to try some Black Eyed Susan and in this one I'm going to try a nice clematis in there. Um, over here this is my old laundry basket. Um, and to say that it's been chucked out, I just varnished it up, put some compost bags in, uh, made some holes. Um, but the magpies peck at that every year for their nest, so it's slowly disintegrating, but I quite like that. This is an old um, chimney pot um, that was just lying around, and my friend was getting rid of this ceramic tray, so I just stepped that on top, and it's a nice little bird bath. This is my favourite thing in the garden. Everyone said I was completely mad for um, doing this, but this is a dead tree that was here when we moved in. Um, it was over there, but I moved it and cemented it into the bed here. And on one side I'm growing generous gardener roses, David Austin roses, and on the other side is a white type that I can't remember, but another David Austin. And every year I plait it together so that when it blooms it comes out pink and white and it looks really lovely. And I've got loads of blooms on that this year, so I'm really excited. And it also means I've got things to hang bird feeders and things from. Up here is my lockdown challenge area. I've never grown fruit and veg before, um, but uh, when lockdown started and we couldn't get your hands on anything at all, we had a load of old junk. Um, one of my daughter's old beds was taken apart and stuff, so I challenged myself to make a fruit and veg area out of absolutely just what we had lying around. So. This is some old guttering for the salad bar and we had our first salad leaves and our burgers last night. Yummy! This is my mulberry, um, which is my pride and joy, so I've given it its own little private enclosure. Um, a herb rack with some old decking. Um, um, I was a bit worried about that, that wouldn't work, but they will germinate beautifully, so I'm hoping they'll all come up. The time isn't doing very well, but everything else is lovely. Uh, my raspberry, these are some old um, solar lights that are just broken so I turn them upside down, put some lining in, hung them up and the strawberries are doing really well in there. This is just a bit of old bed um, and a pot and I'm growing peas up there and they're growing gate guns so I'm very excited about that. And then over here um, we just like screwed in a bit of the old bits of wood and I've created um, like a shelf for strawberries, tomatoes, garlic chives, basil, and over here is my blackberry cascade. Nom nom nom, hope that works. And this is Luna that I didn't make, um, but she's priceless, aren't you? Um, so that is my repurposed garden, and um, thanks for having a look around, maybe give some people some ideas. The whole thing, I think, cost me about a tenner. And my alliums are about to bloom, so I'm super excited. Thanks for having me. By the way, I've got a massive crush on you, Auntie Don. Okay, bye! Hey, it's Lou. If you've just watched one of my videos and you found it even remotely entertaining or informative, can I ask a huge favour? Could you possibly click the subscribe button, wherever it may be, around your screen? It's just that subscribers are kind of our indicators to know whether to carry on making video or whether to just not bother. Um, if we're watching this embedded, you can find us on YouTube at Lou Spout Stuff. Okay, thanks a lot. See you soon. Bye.